Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use TurboTax in 2024. Now this video will help you file your taxes online, especially if you're a beginner. So without further ado, let's dive right into TurboTax. So here, once you've set up your account and you've been able to log in, you will be greeted with this landing page. Now, as you can see here, it prompts us to uh, work on our taxes and they have a pretty straightforward process here, which will tell you what to do step by step, starting from personal info, wages and income, deductions and credits, other tax situations, state taxes, review, and finish and file. So this process will basically get you through what you need to process your returns and fill in the details of your taxes. So let's try starting with personal info. Now, as soon as we get here, you just need to fill in the details that are necessary for your tax review. So just put in your first name, middle initial, last name, junior, senior, etc., the date of birth, and your occupation or job title. Now, once you're satisfied with that, you're going to have to move on and then you're going to put in your social security number. So remember, you need to put in your SSN or ITIN so that they can process your returns. Now, we're just going to go ahead and continue for now. And then here, you're just going to select your state or state of residence. Uh, specifically starting on December 31, 2023, if, for example, you came from a different state. But if you've been in one state for, let's say, 10 years, 5 years, or for your whole life, then this should be no problem. And then you're just going to select which situation applies to you. If you're a member or former member of the U.S. Armed Forces, if you've lived in, other, in another state in 2023, if you're another or if another taxpayer can claim you as an as a dependent on their tax return or if you were considered legally blind as of December 31 2023 if you're preparing this return for let's say someone who passed away and is the original owner of the account or if you want to change the language the IRS uses to send you written communications so again once that's done just go ahead and click on continue and then here they're just going to ask for their info about your household so your marital status if you have any dependents and if you need to know about any non-traditional situation just click on this link right here now we're going to continue then you're going to get to review your personal profile at a glance and you can also add your address and phone right here and if you have any details on other state income, you can add them in this section. So once you're done with all that, you're just going to move on to wages and income. So here on wages and income, we're just going to let this finish loading. They're actually going to offer us a year-round protection with max benefits. So if you want to go ahead and avail of that uh, promotion or offer, just click on get max. But if not, you can just carry on without doing so anyway now here they're just basically going to record your wages and income so let's try to go through each one so they're going to ask if you get a 1099k and then you can just answer this if this is applicable to you so this involves online selling services like etsy or shopify or maybe electronic payment services like paypal or square and then depending on how much you earned, every digital payment service you use could send you a form. If you have multiple 1099Ks, you can enter them one by one. Now next, there's also investments and savings. So here, if you have an investment income in 2023, including interest earned, dividends, sale of stocks or bonds, etc., crypto sales, ex exchanges, or currency use, and other forms of investment like sales of land, second home, etc., then just answer yes if these are applicable to you. Then there's estimated tax payments right here. So if 
any of these apply to you then be sure to fill them up accordingly then there's self-employment health insurance again if it's applicable to you just click on start and fill in the necessary details same with foreign earned income and exclusion now if you need to add more income just click on this button right here and just find which is applicable for your additional sources of income now we're going to go ahead and continue on to the next process now here taxes are easier with experts by your side so i think yeah this is another offer that they have there's an assisted deluxe plus plus max assisted deluxe or turbo tax deluxe so if you want to upgrade then feel free to do that but for this demo we're just going to carry on with the free version now we're just going to continue and then they're just going to ask a few more questions about wages and income so do you, did you own or control a foreign bank account trust or financial asset in 2023 answer honestly and then just proceed did you take a disaster distribution for a disaster that occurred in the time between 2019 to 2022 just answer if yes or not and then did you find or did you have a financial stake in a digital asset so this involves if you've sold a digital asset received a digital asset as payment for property or services received a digital asset as a reward or a warded one exchange for another digital asset other property or cash and otherwise disposed of a digital asset so again just answer that now on to the next, we'll be moving on to deductions and credits. For your tax breaks, if any of these are applicable to you, then please feel free to edit them accordingly. So there's donations to charity in 2023, personal property taxes, expenses and scholarships, student loan, medical expenses, sales tax, foreign tax credit, traditional and Roth IRA contributions. And if you wish to see all tax breaks, you can find them here once you're done just click on continue now here you'll be able to see a rough overview of your standard deduction depending on the details you input and you can change your deduction if you'd like and there's more info here from turbo tax deluxe if you need it now if we click on continue some other tax situations so this is according to of course what you fill in if for example an uncommon tax situation will apply to you so it will depend on what info you provide so let's just keep on going now for federal review let's just this is just going to review your info your social security number and then your details again and then they're going to ask you to review once more at a glance the info you provided so far and it will also notify you if there are details that you need to review so for example here it says personal info needs to be reviewed this is because of the missing social security number and answers to review let's try to check this real quick so federal information worksheet state must be entered so this one right here just make sure that when you do this then your uh, information is complete so that you can process your returns all right so we stopped at federal review let's try to go back to tax home once you're done reviewing you'll be here on this final step which is basically finish and file so once you're there and assuming you provided every correct info that's applicable to you you can already go ahead and click complete my return and that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.